All right, welcome back. We are to the second section in chapter eight, where we are going to be taking a function, f of x, and we're gonna whip it around the x-axis. And unlike the volume of revolution that we've done in the past, what we're gonna end up doing, let me adjust the light here. And we're gonna take this function here, now the lighting is a little better, and we're gonna throw it around the x-axis or y-axis, we can do either. And I want you to picture the shell, like a, um, a hard shell around an ice cream cone or something that gets formed from that. So it's hollow, we're not interested in the volume, we're interested in the surface area, as though I were wanted to paint the outside of this three-dimensional object. What is the surface area? Well, it's going to be, as we discussed before, we have our DS, which is here. We talked about that last time, including the DX. But now it's 2 pi r. It's the circumference going all the way around. So here's our 2 pi r times our DS. And what that's going to do is that's going to generate this surface area for us as we go around one of the two axes. Um, so let's just jump into it. We'll get started. So find the surface area generated by rotating um, y equals four minus x squared, where x goes from negative one to one around the x-axis. So this is actually a circle, part of a circle. And um, it's going from where y is positive. So it's, and by the way, the radius of the circle is two, but we're only interested in from negative one to one. And again, that's going to give us this sort of chunk of a circle, but it again, it's the surface area that's generated as it goes around the x-axis. So let's jump into it. Um, I'm gonna dig this part out first. So y prime is going to be negative two x over the square root of four minus x squared with a two out in front. And I'm going to notice that the twos reduce. So y prime squared, that negative goes away. We end up with x squared over four minus x squared. One plus y prime squared is one plus x squared over four minus x squared. Getting a common denominator. Get there, and we'll notice that x, negative x squared and x squared go away. So we end up with the surface area. It's going to be the integral from a to b, in this case, negative one to one. And we actually end up with two pi times y times the square root of four over or minus x squared dx. Now I'm gonna note that y in this case is this function here. Now what's gonna dominate this is the d whatever. In this case, it's a dx. Because it's a dx, everything needs to be in terms of x, the boundaries, the functions, so that's gonna to have to change to that. Everything, so this becomes the integral from negative one to one of two pi square root of four minus x squared times root four is two over the square root of four minus x squared dx. And you'll notice very nicely, gotta love textbook problems. That reduces out completely. And we end up with four pi, the integral negative one to one of dx, which makes it very easy for us. <laughs> which gives us eight pi. Now, most of the time, of course, we don't get these fancy tricks happening. This, this one was very well designed, as it were, uh, to, to fall out this way. Um, but most of these examples are gonna be fairly simple examples on, on that. All right, let us move on. 
And this time we are going to generate a surface area based on y equals x squared based on the y axis. Now, what that means is our radius, as it were, is x. And you'll note our function is already in terms of x. So what's going to happen, uh, let's get the y prime, 2x, y prime squared, 4x squared, y prime squared, 1 plus, 1 plus 4x squared. So we end up with a surface area of And we are going from one to two. Again, these are x values, so everything needs to be in terms of x. And now my radius is x times the square root one plus four x squared dx. And we can see that we have a little use substitution situation going on. See, infinitesimal is being completely converted. So we end up with a one eighth u to the one half du. Now I need to be careful. When x equals one, y is going to equal five. And when x equals two, two squared is four, four times four, 16 plus one is 17. The two and the one eighth reduce. It becomes a two thirds. U to the three halves from five to 17. And I'm going to notice the twos reduce here. I'm going to end up with a pi over six. 17 to the three halves minus five to the three halves. So once again, I want to note what's different from the previous one was y needed to turn into a function of x because we were dealing with everything in terms of x. Here, because we're dealing with everything in terms of x, the radius x in this case just remains x. It, it gets converted out with the, the u, but it, it remains the same. All right, example three. So now we're going around the x-axis. We have y equals e to the x. And so I'm just going to jump into this. y prime is e to the x, y prime squared, e to the 2x, 1 plus y prime squared, 1 plus e to the 2x. And by the way, for this one, I'm not going to actually do the full integral. I'm just going to go through the setup and even go through the, the substitution for you. And so this is going to give us a surface area of 2 pi, the integral from 0 to 1 of y square root of 1 plus e to the 2x dx. Now, again, I want to point out dx is dominating this, so that y needs to convert to this e to the x here. All right, and I was going to stop there, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the substitution for you. And then stop. So I'm going to let u equal e to the x. du is e to the x dx. And you can see right there, that's going to convert. And when x equals 0, e to the zero is one. And when x equals one, we're going to go to e. And this is going to give us the square root 
of one plus u squared du. And I'm going to stop there. Uh, you could keep going. It uh, looks like you'll have to set up a triangle and uh, do a trig substitution. But I want to move on to this next example. Now we have x as a function of y. So things are going to turn around just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead. and start with this. So we're, we're gonna end up with our integral, the surface area is two pi. And we're going around the x-axis, that means our radius is y. I'm sorry, x, this is x prime dy. So notice everything's in terms of y, in, including the x prime, which I'll get to in a minute, x is gonna be a function of y. And our boundaries in the y direction is going to go from one to two. So let's take care of that x prime. So x prime and a couple of things going on here. The threes go away, the twos go away. And I just end up with That's what the one half power means radical. All right, so now if I square that, and if I add one to that, And again, fancy uh, textbook problems, which we always like. This is going to factor into y squared plus 1 squared. So when I do the square root, it's just there. So this is going to replace that. All right, so let's do this. This becomes one fourth, two to the fourth power is 16, one to the first fourth power is one. Two to the second power is four. That's one. Let's see what we get. Looks like we're getting 15 over four plus three over four, two over two, pardon me. And putting all that together. Including the two pi we get there. Gotta love those textbook problems. They always come out so nice and pretty. Of course, in real life, they don't. Uh, in real life, you'll have to use a numerical method like uh, trapezoidal or Simpson or um, midpoint, and there's many, many others as well. All right, we are to our last problem. Number five. Surface area generated by rotating this over the x-axis, and we're going to have y go from 0 to a over 2. All right, so because we're going about the y-axis, and what we have here is a circle. We solve for x, so this is the right side of a circle. And y is going from so if this is a, this is negative a, a over two is gonna be about here to here. And we're going around the y axis. So 
So that's the shape. <laughs> kind of bizarre that should go and hit the horse. And so we're trying to find that surface area. So let's do this. So x prime is going to be negative 2y over 2 square root of a squared minus y squared. And the twos reduce out. But when I square that, uh, the negative goes away, as does the radical. And when I add one to that, we get it a squared minus y squared plus y squared all over the same denominator, getting a common denominator here, of course. Negative y squared and y squared cancel out. If this is looking familiar, that's because we just did one almost identical to it. Uh, the a was a four at the time, or a was a two, squared was a four. So we end up here. And we end up with the integral surface area is going to be two pi. The integral in terms of y are zero to a over two of x, that's my radius x, times the square root of that. That's going to be a over a squared minus y squared square root dy. Okay. Now you'll note that x is right here. And everything needs to be in terms of y. So I'm going to convert this x into that. We will note very nicely, as it did before, that goes away completely. Remember, a is a constant. So we end up with 2 pi a times a over 2. When I plug in the 0, it goes away. So it looks like the twos are going to reduce out. And we end up with pi a squared. Very nice.